In this video, we're going to take a look at subtracting polynomials. Now just as a quick refresher, like terms are terms that have the same variables and the exact same exponents on those variables. And so in yellow I have two sets of like terms. The 6x squared, I can look at the x's and say that they're the same. Then I look at the 2's and make sure they're the same. And they are, and so these are like terms. For the second set here, I have two variables, x and y, and both terms have the x's and y's in them. But then I have to make sure that the x has a 3 and a 3, and they do. And then the y has a 4 and a 4, and it does. Okay, so those are like terms. The difference becomes over here in the light blue, where you have x's in both, but in the first one, the understood exponent is 1, and in the second one, it's 2. These are not like terms. They don't share the same exponents as on the x variable. Same on the bottom. They have both x's and y's. That's clear. However, x to the third here and x to the fourth here, they are not like terms. You cannot add them. You don't even need to check the y's. Okay. So, so long as they're like terms, uh, if you want an ex a conceptual explanation, I have one called adding polynomials where I go into the concept of why you can't add them together. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Now, in this example here, again, our first step is going to be to distribute to eliminate the parentheses. If there's no number out front, we want to go ahead and put a number out there, and that number is 1. If there's no sign, that number is positive 1. And so we can take that positive 1 and multiply it through. And that's going to give us positive 1 times 2. Now, 1 times anything is that anything. So nothing's going to change, but the parentheses are going to become eliminated. And so I'm going to go ahead and... Now, I'm going to write down the like terms here. I'm going to change colors on them. So I have my 2x cubed. And then I have plus 7x is a different set of terms. And then plus 4 is another term. In the next one, you have to be very careful in subtraction. This is a negative 1 that gets distributed. And it gets distributed to all of them. And so we have negative times a positive is a negative 3. Oops, I do want yellow. A negative 3x cubed. A negative 1 times a negative 6 is a positive 6x. And then a negative 1 times a positive 4 is a negative 4. So now using this uh, example here, I'm going to reorder the terms using the commutative property so that the like terms are next to one another. When I do that, I gather up the term with its sign in front. And so this is going to be 2x cubed minus 3x cubed. I usually will go ahead and once I circle them, I'll go ahead and cross them out as I'm working through just to make sure, just to tell myself I've got these already rewritten. And then I'm going to take this positive 7x and this positive 6x and it becomes positive 7x plus 6x and those are gone. And then I have a positive 4 in purple and a negative 4 in purple. So I have a positive 4 and a negative 4. And those are gone. So those are accounted for. Finally, I'm just going to go ahead and add or subtract the uh, coefficients as needed. And so 2 minus 3 means 2,000 minus 3,000 effectively. And so that's going to give me negative 1,000 or negative 1x cubed. So 2 minus 3 is negative 1. You can put the 1 there if you want. That's fine. And then on the green, so that's, that's done. Let's go ahead and cross the yellow out so we know that that's complete. On the green, we've got plus 7x. This is like 70 plus 60. Well, normally we'd say 130, but it's actually 13 tens. And so this is 7 plus 6 is positive 13x. Now, that's done, so let's cross that out. In the purple, we have a positive 4 minus 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. I'm going to go ahead and put that plus 0 here. 
just so that I've written something for it. However, in the final uh, in the final act here, we want to just go ahead and eliminate that zero. Now, if you put a one in front of the x cube, that's perfectly fine. It's it's typically more accepted. However, if there's a one there, it's just understood. And so it's just negative x cubed plus 13x, and that's it. That's subtracting polynomials.